Well, it's Baron Dodger, a victim of the Australian government and a targeted individual of the Australian government, earmarked for destruction without a lawyer, with no human rights and protections, without whistleblower protection and without legal help. And this is my perspective on work cover. Um, I've worked my entire life very hard for what I've achieved. And um, there's um, two unresolved work cover cases that are still just hanging out, um, that have been um, intelligently um, redacted from me. One of them is from 2004, which is still open. I've never had a lawyer. And the other one is from 2021, um, in which was um, um, intelligently designed away from me for the reason of, I've never had a lawyer. The government said, no, bah -bah, you can't get work cover. And now we've got a lawyer to defend that very decision. It was inequitable, unfair and unjust that the decision be made at the AAT by member Pennell when it was clear that I was a sitting duck, vulnerable, and they could do whatever they wanted. And they did. They didn't pay me. And the reason is corrupt, as this whole situation is for me. Um, I had a contract with a government agency, the NDIS, and I worked for the NDIS. And um, I worked for two years helping people in um, who were marginalised in the community, as I've always done. I went to WorkSafe and in Victoria, when I, when I got unwell from work, had a psychological injury, and um, they directed me to ComCare. But in fact, I was paid by Victorian money. That means that um, it should have been a work safe thing and that um, my um, employment um, with the NDIS, um, when I got unwell from 2021, because it was paid for by Victorian money, because the statutory agency was located in Victoria at that time before the NDIS rolled out nationally, that means work cover was um, responsible for overseeing that. But they free kicked it um, to the Comcare. I didn't know any about this. And Comcare's Paul Fowler um, rejected it on account of I was not a worker for the purposes of the SRC Act. What does that mean? Who knows? All I know is I needed a lawyer to be able to interpret it. They had a lawyer. They had a government um, lawyer, Kate Watson, who acts without, in, in, not within her legal remit to oppose me and brutalise me. It was a bloodbath. And she um, defended the government's decision that I wasn't a worker for the SRC Act. But you know what? I've got a federal court document by Scott, Red Scott Treadwell, who is an authorised person at um, the federal court, and he has stated, as a fact, um, satisfied um, that I was employed by the DSS. And um, that's not an opinion. That's on a, a federal court document that is stated as a fact. But Member Pernell of the AAT found a clever way to say that was an opinion and in actual fact, you weren't a worker. What was I doing for two years? I was just whistling Dixie. But I mean, the federal court document satisfied I was employed by DSS and I have a Department of Social Security government login. You'd think I wouldn't have a login at the DSS if in fact I didn't work for them. And I also have receipts and I have um, advance payments for COVID. There was all these reasons why I could prove I was a worker, but because of the conspiracy to prefer the course of justice, which victimizes me, abuses my legal rights, abolishes my human rights, and acts to um, oppress and demonize me, which has been going on for years, um, that discriminates against me, um, and is out of step with the Charter of Human Rights of a person with a disability that states I should have access to the law. Um, I've been um, cleverly um, tricked and by deception and by lies and by corruption of Kate um, Watson, of, um, who acts outside of remit as a lawyer, who knows about the Charter, and of Member Pennell, who also knows about the Charter at the AAT, and um, of all government agencies, because they've all been um, informed never to help me, to oppose me, and find clever ways to um, not give me my, my prosperity. And this has happened over 20 years, especially in the last five. And um, it's called corruption. And even um, the Prime Minister's in on it, and Mark um, Dreyfus, the Attorney General, refuses um, to acknowledge me or my questions about that. And that in itself is a vicious form of gaslighting and a non-acknowledgement and a delegitimization of my experience, my narrative, and my facts. So there you have it, corruption. That was worth $720,000 if the impairment was 100%. I missed out and um, 
I had not a leg to stand on. There was absolutely no chance that I was going to win that when the government said a big fat babal, no, you're not getting it. And then they had a lawyer to um, really go into a pantomime to say, um, you know, to pretend in a pantomime that I'm defending it as if I had a chance of winning when in, in the entire time it was a predetermined set up to fail, um, which was designed to um, um, not act in my favour. And that's called corruption. There's a document from the federal court, satisfied I was an employer, but I'm not an employee. It's just an unholy form of abuse. It's smoke and mirrors. And it's a tricky and deceitful way that um, government officials, lawyers and politicians and the prime minister have um, elongated my victimization, a victimization which has already caused my death. And then it's cover up a pretty unholy and inequitable and unfair situation. I deserve my work cover. Who's going to stand in now? The Ombudsman? I'm a filed whistleblower at the Ombudsman. I can't even send him an email. And who's going to stand in about it? That National Anti-Corruption Command Commission? I'm rejected and blacklisted from there. This is what it seems like. It's a conspiracy to pervert the cause of justice. It victimises me and victimisation is against the law.